plant chores and when you do them, you don't have the stuff. And when you finally get everything to do said plant chores, you forgot exactly what you needed to do. <laughs> Cause that's what happened to me. I know I needed to repot some plants, but I don't remember what needed to be repotted. But first, hello, welcome back to a plant vlog. Another week, a new plant vlog. I'm Marina, that one girl that likes to talk a lot about house plants, and welcome to Millennial Planter. So first, I definitely need to pot up this Gloriosum. I think I was doing a TikTok and showing the new growth, which is this leaf here. Look how cute it is. And I noticed that the roots were coming out, and I'm so shocked. I mean, I've had this plant for probably since May, so it's definitely ready to be repotted. And I should have known sooner, especially because it's killing off like the older growth and it's only had two leaves so far. So definitely going to repot that. And then I had to chop up my Bar Barnold Potsii and perlite propagate it because it was rotting, um, so I chopped off the bottom piece. I honestly don't think that piece is gonna make it because the root, the rot is pretty far in to the node area, but I'm keeping it on the side, that bottom piece. I'm gonna let it dry completely out, and then I'm gonna put it in some perlite and see what happens. I'm not expecting much though, but this one I have faith in. The aerial roots and the node was still really healthy. There was no rot or anything on it, and now it's in some good old perlite. That new growth is still holding on, so that's a good sign. I knew that rot was gonna happen too. The variegated burly marks that I got isn't rotting in the water either, so I don't know, I thought that was weird. And I guess we could do a quick pike nursery haul. Uh, that's where I was at when I was doing all that plant shopping with my friend. I needed to get some good old charcoal. I'm actually starting to like charcoal a lot, especially since I'm not putting as much perlite in my soil mixtures because I don't like perlite in soil mixtures. I only like it for propagating. I prefer pumice, but pumice you can only order online. I have yet to find a store that has it. And then I got some pots and then I got this asparagus fern because I don't think I have it in my fern terrarium. Uh, so I'm gonna plant it in there if I don't have it. Then I got these baby tears because I thought those would be cute to put on the sides of my little fern terrarium, just to mix it up a little bit. And this is like good ground coverage. And then I got my friend a little pepperonia, which is so pretty, cause she has this cookie jar and I'm going to turn it into a terrarium for her. And then slowly over time, we're just going to start adding plants around it. And I'm so excited, it's gonna look so cute. And it's so big, so I really wanna have like a good centerpiece plant like right in the middle. I just don't know what kind of plant yet. So here is my pot I'm going to repot my Gloriosum in. Hopefully I don't make too big of a mess. So today is Thursday the 16th. Yesterday was Wednesday, September 15th, and it was officially launch day for my new design. If you don't know, I came out with some, I came out with two designs that you can have printed on a shirt or a sticker or a notebook or hat, a tote bag, so many things. And I came out with two. One is like a spooky season meets house plants and then another one is Hoyas. And it launched yesterday and I'm so excited. Thank you so much for everybody who has ordered something so far. And thank you for everybody who plans to order something. And thank you for everybody for checking out my new designs, whether that was in the community tab or um, my link in my Instagram profile, just, you know. Thank you for all the support. Um, if you can't purchase anything, no worries. I completely understand. But just any little support in any way is really appreciated. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I ordered my shirts a couple days ago, so they'll be here soon and I'm excited for that because then I'll actually be able to show y'all what the shirts look like in person. I got the black one, but I think I'm going to order maybe two more for my future giveaway, which would be fun, along with some stickers. I really like the, um, all the feedback I gotten from the design too because a lot of people like it. 
and maybe a lot of people don't too, but that's okay. Um, I like it a lot, and I'm just so excited for um, future shirts and designs that I want to do. I definitely need to start practicing my drawing skills though. <laughs> so check out these roots on that Gloriosa. She was teeny tiny when I got her, so this is a good come up. And this mix is just good old cocoa core, perlite, fur bark that I actually got at the pet store. It's used for like snake bedding. And then um, charcoal. Sorry about that background noise. It's just Roxy playing with her toy. <laughs> and there she is all pretty and cute and potted up in that nice chunky mix. I really need to order some more um, orchid pots because honestly, I just find that my plants are really happy in this, especially my anthurium and my more um, sensitive philodendron because some philodendron are really hardy and then others are just really kind of picky. Uh, so Gloriosum has really seemed to thrive in this one. Okay, so this is the little terrarium, my fern terrarium, which I think I have shown before. I have a lemon button fern, a hot leaf fern, um, an autumn fern, and yes, I think this one right here is an asparagus fern. So I don't need to plant that one in here. Yeah, it is. This thing is just so flipping cute. Look at that heart leaf fern right there. I hope you can see it okay. The leaves are getting so big. Oh, and they're so hairy and cute. I love this thing so much. I'm quickly just going to go ahead and put the baby tears here. I'm actually going to plant them on the side. I'm gonna split it up and put one here and one here. I use my little scooper thing. Hopefully I can tear these baby tears up apart without uh, damaging them too much. They have really fragile roots, but there we go. And I like to take off like the first couple of inches of soil just to take out any fungus gnat larva because this soil is always super wet. Like you can see how wet that soil is. It's like, it's drenched. It's kind of gross. Planted there on the side. The hardest part is cleaning the leaves on here. When I'm moving them around, I get soil everywhere. Um, and then I just kind of leave it there. You can't really like rinse them out really well because there's no drainage at the bottom of this. So when I water it, I have to water it very little so that it's not overwatered and it's just, it's a whole ordeal. <laughs> but I have it pretty filled out now and I'm really liking the way that it looks. The baby tears might go a little bit through shock, but it's fine. It's all gonna fill out really beautifully. And I think I'm done adding stuff to this now. Now it's just a matter of maintaining it and waiting for it to fill out and grow. And it's just, it's gonna be so cute. One day I'm gonna open it up and it's gonna be just nothing but lush ferns coming out. <laughs> But this thing is so cute. There's also a bigger one on Amazon that they have that I'm gonna order next and maybe do the same thing, but um, with more ferns, I don't know. <laughs> I just noticed you can see the fern roots growing in through the back and it's actually pretty cool. I'll have the link to this in my description box below if you wanna order one, cause they're really fun. Um, so far it's been waterproof for me. Like I water to the bottom um, of the, Soil is soaked and I don't get any water leakage or anything. I think now I'm just going to quickly put this terrarium together. I'm so excited for this. So as of right now, I was trying to look around to see if I saw any little plants I might have to add to this terrarium, but I don't have any at the moment. So what I think I'm gonna do to start this off, I think I'm just going to put this peperonia in the middle and then have the fern here on the side. 
That'll be cute. Arrangements aren't really my specialty, but we're gonna make this work. So I'm gonna put a layer of just regular soil at the bottom. I can add more when I add the plants. So I thought real quick while I was doing this, I would share my, my plant journey because somebody did ask me to make a video about that. And um, it's actually quite simple. No, it's not really simple. I think it's actually quite special because I do have generations of women in my family collecting plants. Um, from what I'm told, my grandmother had a really lush green thumb. Unfortunately, you know, she died when I was young. So I don't remember. My sister always told me that she had a whole bunch of plants. My sister and my mom also are really into them. My mom had plants always when I was growing up. My mom and my sister both have had bamboo for a while. So I like to have bamboo in my collection, kind of like an heirloom plant, but not really. <laughs> just cause it really reminds me of them. Also my Dracaena that I just got that I have upstairs in my plant room reminds me a lot of my mom too, because she had a Dracaena. She still has a Dracaena and she's had it for maybe, maybe like five, six years, even longer. So those are always really nice to have. And I really want to keep those in my collection for a while. Even though they're basic, they remind me so much of all these important figures in my life, you know? But anyways, um, so that was kind of my background with plants. And then growing up, I remember having a spider plant and watering it every day and keeping it way too far from my window. So obviously it died. I had a cactus um, later on in my teen years. I was doing great with, and then my <laughs> neighbor threw it away because uh, I had it outside in the sun and she knew that it was mine. It was my upstairs neighbor when I was living in an apartment and she threw it away. And so um, after that, I didn't have plants for a while. And then about maybe four years ago, three years ago, I bought my first Dyfenbachia, which I still have to this day. Didn't know anything about it. Didn't know how toxic it was or nothing. I didn't even remember the name, but I just had it in my house for a while chilling, thriving, and, and then I kind of was like, you know, hmm, I seem to uh, get, the, get the hang of this plant. And then my sister-in-law ended up buying me a pink, a polka dot plant, which was so flopped over because it was thirsty. We didn't know, we actually thought it was a trailing plant until I watered it. And then um, I ended up getting some spider plant babies from my friend. Well, those both died, unfortunately, <laughs> but that was kind of my, my beginning plants. I'm really proud to still have the Dyfenbachia. And when I started getting these plants, I kind of found out the plant community was a thing on Instagram. And that kind of definitely fueled my need to get more plants. And that's kind of where I am now. <laughs> so that's my story, how I've gotten into these things. And now I have all of these beautiful plant and I am so happy. I do think I will have them long term just cause you know, that's how I grew up. And I don't always think my collection is gonna necessarily look how it looks now, but I definitely think I will have some staples for the rest of my life. They really do bring me a lot of joy. I like to be able to care and nurture for them because it's something that's outside of motherhood. Um, it's just something that gives me peace of mind and just, it gives me a hobby to do, you know? Because life can just be stressful, especially when you're a mama and you have life going on. And it's just, it's just nice to step out of that role and have something for yourself. So that's a little bit of that. I would actually love to hear your journeys down below. I would love to know if you had plants. I always like to hear people's experiences growing up with them because I really think it's cool growing up with plants. But then I also think it's cool if you did it and you kind of just started on your own. But share your story below. I would love to hear it. Love to chat with you. This here is almost done. It's looking very bare, but it's okay. It looks cute. I actually think I'm going to put this watermelon peperomia in here. I know she doesn't look the best, but she can definitely benefit from the extra humidity. And it'll be cool to have like a whole little peperomia section. 
Okay, and then now I'm going to top it with a little bit of moss. It does have a top on it, so it'll be able to maintain that moisture. And I think the acclimating process for these ladies will be minimal with how humid it's gonna be. When I water these, I kind of like to take a bottle or I have the little holes on my sink and kind of just run it on the side until I notice that the bottom half of the tank or the terrarium is saturated and that seems to be really good. I don't want to pour too much and you really have to do it slow because pouring water out of this is next to impossible. Okay, so I think I am done. It's kind of rough looking, but that's how they always start out. At least in my experience, I'm not an expert, but it has potential. It looks really cute. And yeah, we'll slowly start adding more plants. I'm so excited for her. I definitely want to get another one of these. I am starting to really get into the whole terrarium thing, even though I don't have a lot of terrarium plants. It's a lot of fun to make and it's a good, like cute aesthetic way to store plants. And it's so low maintenance because I barely ever have to water mine. Like maybe once every two months. So it's really awesome. <laughs> Highly recommend. <laughs> okay, now I am going to clean up and finish editing my Friday's video, which is a pest prevention video. It's gonna be up by the time this vlog is up. So if you've missed that, definitely go check that out. It's what I do for pest prevention and like common household pests and what to look out for and how to get rid of them, all that good stuff. Uh, so go check that out if you haven't already, but I will catch up with you all later this week. Well, I got some more um, plant storage, plant stands. I'm trying to prepare for bringing in all my plants. I did the math. Uh, well, I counted the plants that I have outside and it turned out I have 30 plants to bring inside. So I'm gonna give away one. I'm going to chop up one for sure, maybe two. Um, so I don't know. I'm dreading it, but I gotta start doing it. I'm gonna do it probably in the next vlog. We're gonna dedicate to bringing plants inside. So be ready for a major repot. <laughs> you have any questions about anything plants, personal, um, I'll answer them in my big repot if I get a lot of questions. I don't know, maybe I'll do like a quick Q and A repot with me. Um, in the next vlog because it's gonna start dipping down into the 50s at night and that's when I like to bring in my plants. I know that like 50s isn't really that big of a deal. It's more of like when it's in the 40s, but I just wanna start now because it's gonna be a process and I don't think I'm gonna bring them in all at once. But anyways, I got this plant stand. It's nothing fancy. Uh, it probably holds like four plants. But I had a company reach out to me so I can review it for them. So we'll see how it is. If it's cute, I'll leave the link <laughs> below, the Amazon link below. Um, but I don't know, let's just see how this does. It's white. I don't really like white things, but it's fine. Um, maybe I'll spray paint it. Hmm. This is what it's supposed to look like. Does anybody else just look at the pictures and kind of figure out the rest? Because same. I don't have <laughs> the attention span to read directions, so I just kind of wing it. So one thing they don't tell you about this hobby is that once you start collecting houseplants, you kind of become a carpenter of some sorts with all the shelves you have to put together to accommodate all the plants that you have. <laughs> And there's the final product. Okay, do I have the best styling skills? No, but you all know that and I love it. It actually looks pretty cute. Well, that was really easy to put together. <laughs> I don't know what this room is gonna become, honestly. I have so many ideas and I only have this portion of the wall to work with because I have a bed on this side and the windows here. But I have exciting plans, exciting ideas. I'm not really great at um, acting on those, <laughs> but we'll see what happens next week when I have to bring everything inside. 
Anyways, I will end the vlog here. I don't know there's a bit of everything in this one. Making a terrarium, going plant shopping, putting together plant accessories. Um, yeah. I will see y'all next week. I hope you all are having a wonderful week and I hope you all are staying safe, staying happy and healthy. I will see you in the next video. Bye!